How's it going everybody? This is RBT coming at you with my Chick-fil-A Bowl recap video. The game between LSU and Clemson. And before I get into this, I'd like to say Happy New Year's to everybody. I actually just now got home and I'm so exhausted, man. It's like, it's 1.37 in the morning. And, uh, I just got home. Um, I was extra scared, careful coming home because we all know about how the, uh, drivers are on New Year's. But anyways, Happy New Year. Hope everybody is safe today. Don't drink and drive, because that is very stupid, and, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, get into the game. LSU loses this game 25-24, and it's the first SEC team to lose this bowl season. It's only the second SEC game, but still. I had SEC teams going undefeated in this game, and I, I was giving Clemson no chance whatsoever in this game. And it comes down, it's, it's so, I mean, LSU was outplayed offensively the whole entire game. The D-line was tearing up Todd Boyd, um, hitting him plenty of times, but they were very effective um, throwing the ball. I'm not sure of uh, Todd Boyd's stats. I can tell you right here, six, 36 to 50, 346 yards, two touchdowns. It was very effective throwing the ball, like I said. But it all the whole entire game comes down to a stupid, stupid series by less miles. I mean. He single-handedly lost this game for LSU. I mean, there's about 30 minutes left in the clock. You got the ball about the 40-yard line. You're up by two, uh, about 30 yards, 40 yards in field goal range. Uh, nonetheless, run the ball three straight times to make Clemson call out all their timeouts, and they'll have to work. If you don't get the first down, which you probably will if you run the ball three straight times against Clemson's defense because they couldn't really stop the run that well, stop the run that much. Um, you would be able to burn all their timeouts and they'd have to go in the field as far as they would have to go without um, any timeouts to, to work with. So you pass it on first down. Okay, you got second and two. Um, everybody that knows football knows if LSU runs the ball two straight times against Clemson, they'll li they're liable to get two yards. Two yards is all they needed in two plays to get a first down, move the clock, Call, cause Clemson to call more of their timeouts, potentially all of them, and pretty much ice the game with the first down. So you get to second and two after taking a risk on th throwing the ball first down. You throw the ball on second down, and you in it's an incomplete pass, and they, they don't have to call a timeout. The clock stops. Third down, I'm for sure they're going to run the ball. They throw it again, another incomplete pass. So it's a complete wasted drive, just completely just the most idiotic play calling I've ever seen in my life. Three straight runs, the game's over, LSU wins. Because more than likely they're going to get a first down, or at least make Clemson call other timeouts. And just, just stupid, he lost the game single-handedly. He's going to be getting given heat for this all off season. And, uh, I mean, they even get Clemson a fourth and 16 from their own, what, was it 15-yard line, I'm not real sure. And Todd Boyd converts. Todd Boyd played out of his mind today. I've been skeptical of Todd Boyd. I thought he's always been too inconsistent. I never thought he was a, a good quarterback, despite him winning the ACC Offensive Player of the Year. But tonight definitely changed my perspective on him as a whole. He is very, very good against one of the best defenses in all of football. Uh, they did catch a break when uh, Barkevius Mingo, Mingo got hurt in that last drive. Sam Montgomery got hurt, and Eric Reed also was kind of banged up. But not taking anything away from Clemson. They played lights out, played very good football, especially on the offensive side of the ball. This And they did all this without Sammy Watkins. So props to Clemson. I'm not going to be an SEC homer. I'm not one of those conference pride guys, even though I'd like to see the SEC go undefeated. Um, but just for the sole, sole fact to um, just make all the haters of the SEC shut up, saying we're down this year or whatever. That's the only thing I, I, I take out of these SEC bowl games. Uh, I'm not just one of those guys that is all conference pride or whatever, but I'm giving Clemson all the credit in the world because they played a great game. They executed when they had to. They outplayed LSU, even though they almost lost. Took a bonehead decision by, at Les Miles, but they got the W, taking nothing away from them. That kicker is very good. Uh, DeAndre Hopkins had an insane game. I know he had over 150 yards, 13 receptions, 191 yards, and two touchdowns. And uh, let's go on the LSU side of the ball. Jeremy Hill, the freshman, played very good. 12 carries, 124 yards, and that's what does not make sense. You're struggling on offense, throwing the ball and doing other things, 
and you have a running back who's averaging 10 yards per carry. You only ran it with him 12 times. That is just complete bonehead decision by Les Miles. I mean, he lost them the game. He, he seriously did. But uh, let me go ahead and tell you Clemson's final stats. They had 445 total yards of offense compared to LSU's 219. They were 8 of 18 converting them third down. LSU was only 3 of 13. Um, 99 rushing yards for, for both schools, even though Clemson doubled the attempts rushing 50 to LSU's 25. Um, both teams, uh, L Clemson 6 for 47 yards, LSU 7 for 66. Zach Medenberger didn't have a bad game, but not too many plays down the field. 14 and 20, 320 yards, touchdown, one interception. Um, I'm trying to think of some other, anything else to cover, but I can't think. So, um, let me know what you guys saw this Chick fil A bowl in the comment section below. Um, SEC is now 1 and 1 in conference, uh, 1 and 1, um, bowl record for the conference. And, uh, I'm not sure of the ACCs, to be honest. But thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'm doing all the bowl recaps. Uh, we just have about a week to go. So we'll see what happens in this next week. A big day tomorrow. Well, actually today because it's 1.43 in the morning. But anyways, have a happy and safe New Year's. Uh, like I said, comment below. Let me know what you thought of this game. And as always, roll tide, go socks, and go Titans. See you, see you later. Happy New Year.